in our device here, we start making our firewall rule. So let's see here. So we'll start with, uh, this is a, our um, shell script. So hash bang root bin bash. We're using the bash shell for this. That's our, our going to be our interpreter for this script. And then we'll put a comment here. We'll say basic firewall script. Okay, the first thing we'll do is define the variables. And I'm just having to type this out here. So we set up some variables here. So IPT equals root sbin forward slash IP tables. So now, whoops, I'm sorry. Uh, so now IPT, whoops, IPT is shorthand for IP tables. Then we'll have another variable called int intf. So interior interface equals ENP0S8. And then exterior interface, INTF, equals ENP0S3. So one variable for IP tables, another variable for NPOS8, and another variable for NPOS3, which is our two interfaces. Then the next thing we're going to do is uh, flush all active rules. So we're going to delete our current rules. So dollar sign IPT, so that's the same thing as saying IP tables, dash capital F will flush the default table, which is the filter table. Then I'm going to dollar sign IPT dash T table nat flush. Now notice I didn't have to do dash T filter and flush because the default table is the filter table. So I can just say dash F and it'll affect the default table. But this one with the NAT table, I've got to put the dash T to affect that. All right, dollar sign, let's say IPT dash T uh, table mangle. And we're going to flush that. And then after that, we're going to delete with capital X. So this is important. So th these F's are uppercase F's. These T's are lowercase T's, but this is a capital X. We're going to delete the, um, so this flushes the rules, and then this deletes the rules. All right, so IPT dash T nat table dash capital X. And I'm sorry I can't copy and paste this. Uh, it's you might want to I'll speed this up I guess all right uh, I'm sorry this is gonna be mangle all right table mangle all right and now we'll set whoops um, set default policies And what will be our default policies? Capital P input will say anything coming into the, we're going to have a permissive initial policy. So except on the, um, uh, the filter table, traffic coming into the, into the CentOS machine, we're going to accept it. We'll start off with just a very permissive policy. So dash capital P for policy forward except. So once again, it doesn't say the table is the forward table. So this is the input chain, the forward chain. And since the table isn't named, this is affecting the filter table, which is the default table. OK, so dollar sign. Okay, so dollar sign IPT dash policy traffic going through the output chain on the filter table except. So we're going to allow all traffic 
going um, into the CentOS, going through the CentOS, or out of the CentOS. And this is just setting up default policy at the beginning. We can make this more restrictive later and change these accepts to denies. So next one, dollar sign IPT. I'm going to basically do the same thing, except this time I've got to specify the table as the NAT table and the policy output accept and I'll set the table NAT table policy pre-routing to accept and the table NAT policy post routing except all right we got that and then let's set the two mangle tables as well even though we're not necessarily using all of these it's a good learning process and there we go pre routing except sign IPT I probably didn't need to do it we're not even going to be using the mangle table but anyway I'm just going to do it anyway post routing accept all right so we've got those rules so those are that's our default policies and then I'll just scroll down here through my lab and there's a few more rules that we need to put in. So let's get the rest of these rules. So the next rule that I have here, it's for a loopback interface. So let's put it in. IPT and dash capital A append this rule to the input chain. So traffic coming into the CentOS on interface loopback jump to accept all right we'll take that and then the next one is for um we'll say this enable ip masquerading enable ip masquerading which is natting okay that's essentially natting and you'll notice what it says here we'll put this command in Enable IP masquerading. And here goes the command dollar sign IPT for IP tables, variable for IP tables, dash table. We're going to use the NAT table and we're going to append this to post routing output interface. Then we'll use our variable dollar sign external underscore INTF for interface. So that's our variable for the external interface, ENP 0S8 dash jump to masquerade. So when it's leaving the out, so traffic in our NAT rule will be masked, um, will be NATed to whatever the IP address is on, on our external interface. All right, then the next rule says allow outside connections to servers. Now, it's, everything is allowed right now anyway, be, anyway, because we have this default policies of accept, but we could change all these default policies up here to deny, and then we would need these rules to allow NAT and allow things like this rule we're about to do. So dollar sign IPT append this rule to the input chain dash P for protocol we're using TCP and if the destination the D port double dash D port is 22 and double dash S port the source port is anywhere from 1024 to 65,535, which is the 
the acceptable range for dynamic ports on source ports from an in, then dash m match the state and we'll say space double dash state new connection so connection state new and then dash j accept so this is going to allow traffic destined for port 22 when the source ports dynamic destination traffic coming inside for port 22 new connections accept so that looks good and then on the next rule let's see here we're going to do the same thing essentially but this will be for uh, d port 80 for our web server so allowing connections to our web server so dollar sign ipt dash a for append input protocol tcp destination port 80 s port source port is the normal range for a dynamic random source port number match the state the state is a new connection jump to accept so we're accepting new connections on port 22 and port 80. All right, um, unrestricted outgoing traffic and incoming traffic, okay, is restricted to locally initiated sessions only. So th these are interesting rules here, so I might as well put them in. So these next rules, comment, um, We'll say outgoing and incoming traffic rules. Okay. IP tables dash capital A for append. This is going to be for traffic coming into the CentOS box. The interface dash I dollar sign coming in interface whatever our external in INTF is whatever our external interface is and matching the state the state is established established connections comma related traffic established, related, and then jump to accept. Okay, that looks good. All right, then we're gonna do a similar thing here. IPT, append this to the input chain. If it's coming from interface dollar sign interior INTF interface which is our variable for ENP 0 S so e, uh, dollar sign EXT underscore INTF is ENP 0 S 3 that's our external interface and our variable for int interface is ENP 0 S 8 what are we going to do with that all right we'll say dash M the state double dash state we're going to allow new connections coming out of our basically router, new connections as well as established ones. All right, it says they're established and related except comma related jump to accept. All right, so traffic that's coming from the outside needs to be only established traffic, right? Like uh, stateful uh, firewall, only established or related traffic is allowed, but leaving from interior going out, um, traffic coming into the interior interface, those can be new connections or established or related, so those are good. All right, now how about for traffic going through through the, the device, right? Traffic that's not destined for CentOS, but destined 
to go through it because it's the router. It's not really the destination. It's just the, the gateway. So um, append this rule. This time we're going to affect the forward chain. So forward chain. And let's see here. Dash I for interface and dollar sign EXT underscore INTF. EXT INTF dash O for output interface and we'll say dollar sign ENT INT underscore INTF so traffic that's basically coming from exterior to interior all right and then we're going to do the state interior to exterior uh, dash match the state double dash the state is established and related established comma related traffic whoops it's double dash state established comma related traffic jump to accept and then one more rule here ipt a uh, forward incoming interface dollar sign int underscore intf and outgoing going out of ext intf match the state the connection state and the states we're going to allow new established and related jump to accept so that looks good right there i'm pretty positive that's what it was yes all right so we've got a few rules here now that's pretty cool. All right. Um, whoops. Here come the rest of the rules. So I know this is a lot, but it's interesting at least. <laughs>